if you could look back on kind of your career here, your your campus ministry career, and, and and give us a brief high and a brief low, what what comes to mind kind of in your mind quickly there that, boy, this was just a, kind of a, the pinnacle experience for me in campus ministry, and then and then here was quite the low point for me. Yeah, yeah. Um... Yeah, that's easy. My my pinnacle, my ministry pinnacle, I was teaching at a conference on the idea of spiritual multiplication. And I thought, you know, I need to, to illustrate this. And the guy who led me to Christ uh, was a guy who just kept, he was a, a Baptist youth pastor who kept pursuing me in the midst of the party scene and he wouldn't go away. And he mm-hmm. just kept coming after me and coming after me and coming after me. And, mm-hmm. and I finally, I came to Christ and the church ran him off. He was reaching all these crazy kids like me and the church ran them off. And so I, I just got a job at a Christian bookstore and a bunch of dead guys discipled me. And, and uh, so I started learning from that, but he called me 20 years later and uh, he said, Hey, um, you know, my dad was one of the early navigators. And I said, you gotta be kidding. He said, you, have you heard of a guy named Lauren Sanny? Uh, I said, yeah, absolutely. So he said, well, Dawson uh, Trotman invested in Lauren Sanny, Lauren Sanny, into my dad, Harlan Abbott, and Harlan Abbott, me. So wow. here I was laboring away for 20-something years, and then to find out. And and here's one of my my favorite little rabbit trail. This was the day that students, that dorms opened. And you guys know what that day is like, right? I mean, you are just absolutely pumped. And I thought, yeah. Lord, here I am. I'm about to go get rejected all day long for the next few weeks. But Tim persevered when I was rejecting him. Help me to believe, Lord, those ones that look like they have no interest. You know, when you hand them a flyer and say, here, you throw this away, (laughs) you know, which is essentially what you're saying. You know, you just expect they're going to throw that thing away when they get away. But help me to continue doing that. But anyway, I'm trying to illustrate this idea at a conference of spiritual multiplication. Mm -hmm. And I thought, you know, I'm going to I'm going to give this a shot. I go through these pictures of Dawson Trotman to Lord Sanny to Harlan Abbott to Tim Abbott to me. And I said, if if anybody here, if I've invested in you, um, stand up. And there were probably, I don't know, 20, 25 people. I'd been in that region for a while who stood up. And I said, okay, now remain standing. If there's anyone else here who these people have invested in, you need to know I teach these people, everyone I invest in, I teach them to reproduce. So I'm assuming there's some people that these folks are discipling or have led to Christ stand up. So there was probably close to a hundred folks that stood up and said, okay, let's see if this thing works. <laughs> and if any of these folks have led you to Christ or discipled you stand up and there were hundreds, I don't know how many, maybe 300 something. And mm. I just thought, Lord, this isn't because I'm in full-time ministry and staff. It's just because I've given myself to this idea. That's a biblical idea. The navigators yeah. didn't make it up, right? It's just a biblical idea of spiritual reproduction. And, and I thought, Lord, you could take me home right now. You know, what, what an amazing thing. To yes. get to and, to, and, and it doesn't happen overnight, right? That's just those few that you're investing in and teaching them to reproduce. And so that was the high, I would say the low was getting in a role that was not my fit. And so I, for me, I'm a field general and uh, I'm not an administrator. And when I was in a role where I was more administrating, I'm also a pioneer and I had inherited some students. Steve, you remember this? I called you over in Arkansas asking for your advice and and um, it just became pretty clear quickly, man, you guys need a college pastor and that's not me. I'm, yeah. I'm a campus missionary and I have to be with lost students. Yep. And yep. so that, that took about a year and a half to, it probably took five <laughs> years off my life. Oh man. Anyway, that was, that was a low. That's yeah. Good. Oh man, I love, I was just, it just hit me so hard just when you're sharing that story of that legacy of spiritual multiplication. And I I think that's just, I'd love for our listeners just to be encouraged that what God is doing in your life right now, in your ministry, didn't start with you because you think, just think back on the legacy and it won't end with you. If you're faithful, if you really pour into making disciples and focus on spiritual multiplication and not just get <laughs> sucked into this idea of numbers and addition thinking. If we stay with that spiritual multiplication thinking, then yeah. <laughs> I mean, the very promise of Jesus is that he will be with us. He will equip us and empower us. And so, yeah. I don't know, I'm just so encouraged by that, inspired by that. Um, that. And that's our vision with this CMT podcast is not to get into the fads and all that other stuff, 
but really double down on EDM, evangelism, yeah. disciple making, mission mobilization.